The first thing I noticed was the huge pain from the tension again. Some of it was still Titani related, but I sensed that there was more to it. I suddenly had a vision and found myself in a dark room. The color was a dark, muddy brown, and in the far I saw a flickering red candle burning, providing the only light. I was lying on my back on a mattress, and I realized that I couldn't move a muscle. Everything seemed paralyzed. Suddenly my father appeared on my left side and my elder sister on my right. They both stared at me with satisfaction and I became so frightened that I held my breath. I wanted to move and try to lift my arm, but my father held it down forcefully and I shrieked in pain. He said he wanted me to lie still, but I didn't want to. He became enraged and pressed his hands against my throat. I began to cough and to gasp for air. The pressure was so high that I believed I would suffocate. I was terrified to death, but the worst pain was the realization that if I didn't obey his orders, he would kill me. I still remember that during the scene, I actually pulled my blanket around my neck to protect myself. Sean told me later that I had put real pressure on my throat, which had enhanced the sensation of being choked to death. When I surrendered to my father, he let go of me, enjoying my terror. My sister laughed with him. I tried to remain motionless and they kept staring at me with their hands on my body, but they didn't really do anything. The main act was their own malignant enjoyment of having power over me. I couldn't stand the situation. The panic was unbearable. I cried deeply for the bitter truth that had been buried within myself for all those years. The pain of being emotionally abused washed over me. I felt worthless and unwanted. They had abused my trust and loyalty, which had destroyed my self-love and esteem. It was the deepest pain during all my breathwork experiences and it was even worse than being lost in abstract fear like the experience before. Suddenly the vision changed and I was in complete blackness. I saw a storm of radiating energy that raged inside my body. I felt strong vibrations within my cells which were hard to bear and there were zigzagging bolts of energy slashing through my whole body. A high tension made me shake violently, and then a twist of strong hot energy was emerging from my inner organs rushing up which made me gasp. I was strongly controlled by the interplay of the energies so that I began to sweat and shiver at the same time. Sweat was running down my skin, but I felt like ice inside. I couldn't ground myself as everything was moving, and so I grabbed Sean's hand in order to stabilize myself. It took me a long while until the tension started to resolve. I was still under the impression of the whole experience and I felt very miserable and extremely exhausted. That night I didn't want to go to bed as the vision of my father and my sister in the dark was still strong. As a little child I used to have traumatic events at night which woke me up in horror and left me frozen to death. With that in mind I stayed on the couch with the light on trying to shake off the fearful visions. My supporters were very caring and stayed up with me until I felt I could sleep. Surprisingly, I slept fine and was back to my energetic self the next morning. I found it so amazing that I had overcome the deepest fear of my life in just a few hours.